Infinity is a powerful concept. Philosophers, scientists, mathematicians and people from all walks of life have struggled with the ideas of infinity. Watch our previous video of Explained to understand what is infinity. This time let's try to understand that are all infinities equal? The theory of infinite sets was developed in the late 19th century by mathematician Georg Cantor. He explained that all infinities are not equal. Yes, you heard it right. And actually, some infinities are vastly larger than the other infinities. But how? To see how Cantor's theory works, let's start by considering that two sets are of the same size if we can pair the elements of the sets or do the one-to-one -one correspondence. For example, if there are four apples in a box A and four oranges in a box B, then we can do the one-to-one -one correspondence or pairing like this and say that these two sets are of the same size. Now consider an infinite number of apples in a box A, obviously an infinite large box and an infinite number of oranges in a box B. Now we can again pair them up but this time it will go on forever. These kinds of boxes or sets are called listable infinite sets and this represents two equal infinities. One to one correspondence is possible with natural numbers. But what if one set is of integers? Integers are the numbers which also include negative numbers like 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3 and so on. Here also, we can assign a natural number to each integer which means that we can do the pairing of integers with natural numbers and hence this is also a listable infinite set. Here too we can say that the two infinities are equal because we can pair them up. This might seem odd since natural numbers are a part of integers and each natural number is also an integer. But even though the natural numbers are fully contained in the integers, the two sets actually do have equal infinities. So now let's go to the larger numbers, rational numbers. Rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed as a ratio. For example, 1 by 3 or minus 108 by 1. And between two integers, there are infinitely many fractions. Let's check if we can pair up all the rational numbers with the natural numbers. For that, let's look at this grid. On one side, we have numerators, which are the natural numbers. And on the other side, we have denominators, which are also natural numbers. And in the middle, we have rational numbers, which came from dividing two natural numbers. This is how we can have all the positive rational numbers. And now, we pair each natural number with a positive rational number. For example, 1 by 1 is paired with 1, 2 by 1 is paired with 2, 1 by 2 is paired with 3, and so on. And we can say that the two infinities are equal. Let's do our final test with the numbers of numbers called real numbers. All the numbers on the number line are real numbers. We were able to do the pairing cleverly of natural numbers, rational numbers, and integers. We were showing that the infinities are of the same size and we call them listable infinite sets. But now, let's see whether we can accommodate real numbers or not. To see this, we can use an extremely powerful technique in mathematics, proof by contradiction. We will start by assuming that the real numbers are listable infinite, like other numbers. So let's take some random real numbers, like this. You can take any other random number as well and assign a natural number to that real number. So, from our assumption, each and every number should show up on the list. But this is not possible. Let's see how. Let's take the first digit of the first number and second digit of the second number and so on. From our first real number, we get 1. From the second, we get 7. From third, we get 1 and so on. This turns out to be 0.17137. We make a new number by taking each of these digits and adding 1 to them, which becomes a number 0 0.28248, continuing on for all the other numbers on our list. This new diagonal number is definitely a real number, but it is different from all the numbers in the list. Hence, we have made a new real number that does not show up on our list. This shows that the real numbers are not listable infinite. No matter what we try, there is no way to make a pairing of natural and real numbers. These two sets are not of the same size. This leads to a weird realization that there must be multiple levels of infinity. And hence, this represents higher level of infinity. 
Remember the question we mentioned in our previous video about infinite people and infinite rooms in a hotel? Well, that is actually a famous paradox called Hilbert's Grand Hotel Paradox. Cantor's theory about infinity was widely accepted and it somewhat even answers this paradox. Can you explain how? Do write us in your comments below.